Hey folks, this is Dan Bell with Intrigent, and today we're going to look at adding milestones to your project. And we're gonna dig right in here. I do have Microsoft Project opened. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, I have a couple of uh, test projects here. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and open one of these, go ahead and browse to my project folder. And I have business uh, plan phase one here. And we'll open that. And so the, the examples we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, add a milestone with the zero duration then we'll add one that has a duration to it and then we're going to show having a milestone that has um, external tasks linked to it so that there's a dependency there okay all right number one uh, let's go ahead and create a milestone with the zero duration so a lot of times uh, i will use them or you know in general we will use them here at intigen to denote the completion of a set of tasks or a stage or a phase or both right for instance, self-assessment, you know, um, I'd like to have a milestone at the end of this to determine specifically when it's complete. So all those tasks, um, the completion will be denoted by that. So how do we do that? Well, um, what I'm gonna do is insert a task right above to find the opportunity. I'll right click on row six, select insert. And then what I'm gonna do is call this self so assessment complete press enter and there is my milestone task you can see that it automatically inserted the task right there and uh, went ahead and created dependencies for me which is great it did create it in manually scheduled mode so I'm gonna make that automatic and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my options here real quick uh, go to schedule make it auto for that and then I'm gonna make it auto for all there we go all right, so that's gonna take care of that. All right, so there's our, our task that we created in there. So um, you know, a couple couple ways you can create this to be a milestone, right? I can go into the um, settings, like the advanced settings of the, of the task. Another way is to simply type zero in the duration column. So let's go ahead and try the latter method, type zero, press enter. And what you'll notice is we now have a diamond here in the Gantt chart that denotes that this is a milestone. I can hover over it and it shows that um, this particular task has a finish to start, has a lag of zero, um, and that is what the task is right there, self-assessment complete, and that is the milestone. And that, you know, again, what that really denotes is that that is the completion of all the activities within here. Um, if I want to uh, have a task down here that you know, has that as a predecessor, the completion of self-assessment, I can just link to that one task right there, number six. Okay. Second example, a milestone with a duration. Right? So you might have a, a milestone that's an approval of a document and the approval process might take several days. All right. So uh, in that particular situation, we'll have a milestone that has a duration to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the definition of the opportunity have a milestone as well. We're going to use the same process here. I'm going to select and then right click on row 12, select insert task. And uh, I'm going to call this opportunity defined. And let's see if I can spell that right. complete that takes care of that and uh, you know so a couple things we have to do here right we have to change the duration and we have to mark it as a milestone what I'm gonna do is uh, with the task selected go to the make sure I'm at the task ribbon here and then in the properties grouping here there's an information button we'll go ahead and click on that and that will bring up my task information dialog navigate to the advanced tab the uh, first thing I want to do is mark it as a milestone. You can see this checkbox in the bottom left. We'll go ahead and select that. Second thing, I want to change the duration to five days, specifying that this particular milestone uh, is actually going to take five days to go through its entire process. And again, you know, the scenario being there's a document that needs to be approved. That process will take approximately five days. At the end of those five days, this milestone will be complete in a perfect scenario. Click OK. And there we go. So we can see that there's my task, five day duration. There it is within the Gantt chart. So let's do this. Let's blow up the Gantt chart just a little bit here, right? And take a closer look at that milestone. And uh, maybe we blew it up just a little too far. So there's the milestone again. So if you look, right, so the, there's the diamond. Uh, you can see approximately Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, right? So you see, um, not Saturday, but go to the Monday. And you have five days there and there's the milestone okay so that's a quick way to go ahead and add a milestone that actually has some type of duration to it right so some type of approval process all right so the third scenario can uh, is going to be a situation where 
in this section here, uh, evaluate potential risks and rewards, you can see that we have these, these uh, particular tasks being performed, assess market size and stability, est estimate completion. Um, I also have some work being done by an external vendor. They have a project they're going to be managing. And um, that, that, those activities that the vendor is doing need to be taken into consideration for this task 23, review and modify the strategic plan, right? And here is the external project right here. You can see determine financial requirements, review personal suitability, and evaluate initial profitability. Uh, they're going to provide input into this one here, row 23. Okay. All right then. So the first thing I'm going to do here is let's go to that external project. And as I've been doing with all the other projects, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put a, a milestone here, right? So uh, evaluation, I'm just going to keep it simple here. We'll call evaluation complete zero day duration I'm going to create a relationship here because you can see there's no relationship what's the easiest way to do it click hold drag on the predecessor to the successor five and six let go task ribbon schedule section there's a chain ring link uh, here link the selected task click that now you can see we have the link there then I'm gonna close out um, excuse me I'm gonna save it now I'm gonna close out of this project okay all right and and everything else here is, is all set Okay, so ultimately the, the confirmed decision to proceed is, is based on this entire phase. Um, yeah, this, this review modify strategic plan is a t an activity that takes place. Yeah, this can actually be a milestone that takes place over uh, a two day duration, right? So what I'm gonna do here is select the task. We're on the task ribbon, property section information. Um, advanced, it has the two day duration which is good when well, we can always extend that maybe it's going to take three days because we have input coming from an external vendor market as a milestone and then we have that milestone and again that's the milestone for this set of tasks uh, the confirmed decision to proceed is based on the entire uh, phase right so that's why we're going to leave that one in as well i'm going to save this now what i need to do is i need to link the external tasks to review and modify the strategic plan uh, the other thing i need to do is if i want that project to start when these tasks start, I need to have some kind of link within this this project as well for the start. And the start would be here, right? So summarize once when this one's done, that means that these can start. Okay, so let's close out because that's what we need to do to create the link. And I'm gonna uh, open a blank project. And from the blank project, we go to the project ribbon, go to sub project. And then what we do is we'll insert our external project, do sub project again, we'll insert the business plan and there's the two projects that we have and let's go ahead and expand that a little bit all right so that takes care of bringing them in here let's expand these columns just a little bit now if you look at your Gantt chart you can see these tasks are floating way out in the beginning of the project yeah you know, we do want to get them to reflect reality and show up somewhere over here and again they're all going to be um, providing input into this task right here that we we uh, made a milestone which again is the review of modify strategic plan how does it go? Well, remember, we said we want these tasks to, uh, when they're complete, provide input into that. All right, so we're going to select number six, then select number 23. Then we're going to go to the task ribbon, click the link select the task chain link button. Now you can see that we have this link here. Okay. What else can we do to verify that link? Well, if you look at the predecessor column, you can see the predecessor of this particular task is evaluation complete, right? So it's the culmination of the t these tasks here. Bring that back. Uh, now remember the other thing I said I wanted to do, right? I said I wanted these tasks to start approximately when these start as well, right? How do we do that? Well, this is going to be the predecessor from the previous set of tasks, and then the successor will make it determine financial requirements. So we'll uh, click and hold, select that one, and then we'll click on the link select the tasks again. And now you can see the group of tasks went ahead and slid over to where they need to be to reflect reality. So now they're going to begin and end within that set of tasks right here so that everything's going to work out just exactly the way we want. Okay. And again, we have this as a duration based milestone. And of course, this is the um, milestone that denotes the completion of the overall phase, phase one strategic plan. Um, so how do we save this? Because currently I'm in a blank project. You notice here we just want to save the external links that are showing up here in the predecessor column well if we select file and then close we don't want to save project one we say no here 
but we do want to save the change to external activities.mpp. We'll say yes. We do want to save the change to business plan phase one.mpp. We we'll say yes. Now we have no projects open. Let's go ahead and open. Right, so let's do browse here. Let's open the business plan. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and open external activities. And the reason we're doing this is because we just want to look and confirm, well, did those predecessors really take place? And looky here, there it is. The predecessor is present within the main business plan activity, right? So that's the predecessor taking input from the uh, vendor managed project plan. We go to the external project. The predecessor here is going to be that task from the prior grouping of tasks as well, right? And if you expand this, you can actually go all the way over here. And at the very end, it's going to say, the predecessor is from business plan phase one.mpp and then it's, it's a backslash and then 17 which is the row number and uh, there you have it folks that is how to add milestones to your project whether it is a zero duration milestone a milestone with a duration or a milestone that has um, some kind of dependency on external tasks hope you enjoyed this folks if you have any questions uh, we'd love to hear from you otherwise have a wonderful day this is dan bell talk to you soon Bye bye